Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system. So there can be many different ways using which you can install Android Studio. I'm going to show you the way which I prefer and I generally use to install Android Studio on my Ubuntu operating system. Now the prerequisite of installing Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system is that you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system, make sure you uh, install it. To check whether Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system, you can click on this show apps icon and then click on this terminal option. And once the terminal is open here, just write Java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. And if it gives you any version of Java, that means Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. If not, you need to install it. So I have already created a video about how you can install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. I'm going to put that link in the description of this video so you can directly watch that video and install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. Once you have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system, let's start with the installation of Android Studio. So for that, you can open your favorite browser and search for Android Studio and the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com forward slash studio. I'm going to just click on this link. Here I want to check which version is the latest version of uh, Android Studio which is available on their official website. Here when I click on download Android Studio Jellyfish, you can see the version which is available at the time of making this video is 2023.3.1. Now we are not going to use this uh, download button to download the Android Studio. We are going to use the snap package manager to download android studio on our ubuntu operating system now if you don't know what is snap snap is the uh, package manager which is created by canonical which is also the creator of ubuntu so first of all we are going to uh, find out which version of android studio is available using snap package manager when you install the newer version of uh, Ubuntu, you will have the Snap pre-installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So just open your terminal by clicking on the Show Apps icon and then click on Terminal option. And here you can write uh, Snap Find and then space in the double quotes. You can write Android hyphen studio here and then press enter and it's going to show you the version of uh, android studio which is available via the snap and you can see the same version is available via the snap map package manager also so it's always up to date now let's see how we can install android studio using snap package manager so for that you can search for snap android studio and the first link which will appear here will be from snapcraft.io forward slash android hyphen studio so i'm going to click on this link and you can see uh, the different versions which are available but you don't need to worry about them you just need to click on install option here and then copy this command which is sudo snap install android studio space hyphen hyphen classic so i'm going to copy this command and then paste it into my terminal and then press enter and here i need to provide the password of my ubuntu operating system which i use to log into my ubuntu operating system and then press enter here which is going to start the download and installation process so you can see this progress bar also so we want to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100 percent mark so now the installation of android studio has been finished and i can see this message which says android studio uh, from snap crafters installed so now uh, we can open the android studio first of all i'm going to minimize this terminal and then click on show apps icon and i can see this android studio icon here i, I can also search for uh, android studio and i can see the result here so let me click on this uh, icon here which is going to start the android studio so for the first time when you start Android Studio, it will ask you if you want to import settings. If you have any previous settings, you can import the settings. For now, I'm installing Android Studio for the first time on this Ubuntu machine. So I'm going to just leave it as default, which is do not import settings and then click on OK here. And now uh, for the first time, uh, it's also going to ask you 
to help improve Android Studio. I don't want to send any statistics to Google. So I'm going to click on don't send. And now you can see the welcome window for the Android Studio. So you can see Android Studio setup wizard here. I'm going to click on next here. And then I'm going to select the standard option here and then click on next. And then you can verify your settings and then click on next here. And then you need to accept these license terms and conditions. So I'm going to click on accept here and then click on next and then click on finish, which is also going to start the download of uh, some components and it's going to install those components. So at this point, just wait for a few minutes until this installation is finished. So now the installation of all the components is finished. So I'm going to click on finish here. And now you can see the Android Studio has been started. Here you can see you can create your first project by clicking on this uh, new project icon. You can also customize the settings by uh, clicking on this customize option. By default, the theme is dark here. You can also select the light theme or uh, light with light header theme and other themes which are available here. I'm going to just leave it as default, which is dark theme for now. And then you can also change the font size from here and you can also change some other settings by clicking on the other settings here. Now, uh, in the project section, I also have this more actions uh, option. So when I click on more actions option, you can see I can add the virtual device by clicking on virtual device manager. So here there will be one default device. So I'm going to click on a virtual device manager here. So you can see by default Android Studio comes with one virtual device. So let me start this device first and let me see if uh, we can launch this device successfully or not. So you can see it says emulator running in nested virtualization. So you need to have virtualization enabled here. I'm going to click on OK. And then it also says your GPU driver information. I'm going to click on OK here. And after a few seconds, it's going to start. So this emulator is working fine. So I can uh, close this emulator for now. So once this emulator is closed, I'm going to close this uh, device manager window. And then let's create a new uh, Android project. So I'm going to click on new project here. So here I'm going to select phone and tablet. And then I'm going to select basic view activity because I want to just test whether everything is working fine or not, right? So let me select that and then click on next. And then I can select the name of my project. I'm going to just name my project as my first application and it will be saved under this path in your Ubuntu operating system. So if you are happy with it, just leave it as, as so if you are happy with it, just leave it as default. And then the language here will be Kotlin. You can also choose Java here. I'm going to leave it as Kotlin here. And then minimum SDK is API 24. You can also change other uh, versions from here also. So let me just click on finish option here, which is going to finish the creation of this Android project. So you can see my project has been populated and I can see this uh, welcome window. So I can minimize this by clicking on this minimize option here. And now I can see uh, that my project is created, but still this cradle building option is in progress. So I can wait for few more seconds until this process is finished. So now my project has been loaded. So here you will see Android option here. And when you expand this, you will be able to see uh, three folders under the app folder. First one is the manifests folder where you will see the Android manifest.xml file. Second one is the Kotlin plus Java folder. Here you will see your uh, Java files or Kotlin files. And you will see the RES folder, which is uh, for resources. And under the resources, you have this layout folder and here you will see your layout. So let me open the main activity uh, layout, which is called activity-main.xml. So when I click on it, 
it's going to show me the design of this activity main dot xml which is the main activity in my case so you can see now this uh, design is loaded so from here i can drag and drop all these uh, components from here and uh, design my activity you can also see this default uh, device which is the pixel 3a in my case and you can also run your emulator first and then run your android project so for that you can see on the right hand side this running device option so click on this running device option right now no device is running right you can select your default device from here and then click on this window option which is going to uh, deattach this window and from here you can run any device right so i'm going to click on uh, device manager here and then select my default uh, device and then run it so i'm going to run this which is going to run this device inside this window so my android emulator has been started and now i can run my project so to run the project you just need to click on this uh, run button as i mentioned the default emulator is already running and this is uh, the emulator which we have ran so just select that and then click on the run button and just wait for the build to finish and it will appear on your emulator which is this one so i'm going to wait for that i can also dock this emulator to my android studio by clicking on this small icon which says dock and it's going to dock this emulator in my android studio itself right so i can design my uh, activities i can uh, write the code and even i can see the output in the android studio itself i don't need to uh, go anywhere else right so you can undock or dock this emulator also so now i can see this app is running inside my android studio and this is how you can run your android app on your emulator so you can dock or undock this emulator and uh, you can also see that this is the first fragment and everything is running fine right so this is how uh, you can uh, download and install android studio and run your uh, android project on the emulator on your ubuntu operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.